Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Sometimes when you're working in Lightroom, all of a sudden you'll notice that something is missing. Uh, maybe a toolbar goes missing, or the flag status on the thumbnail is missing, or maybe a sort feature just goes missing. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about these things that often go missing. I often get emails from people ask me, where did this go? Or my Lightroom doesn't look like yours because you have this and mine doesn't. And what prompted me to do this video was the first thing we're going to talk about. If we look down at the film strip, you could see that I have my film strip set up so that it will show flags. It will show color labels. You could see over here, I have a color label on that image and it will show stars. So this one has three stars, that one has five stars. And in case you were wondering, that is a feature you could turn on or off. And to do that, just right click on any of the images in the thumbnail, and at the very bottom is view options. And you could see that I have badges checked, show readings and picks, and so on. I have all this checked so that it will show up on the thumbnail. You also could turn these off and on through preferences in Lightroom, but I prefer to do it by right clicking on the image and going right here. And it will work on all the images in the film strip, not just the one you clicked on. Well, recently I received an email from someone uh, who told me they had all those checked, but these flags, stars, color labels still aren't showing up on the thumbnails. And it took me a little while to figure this out. What I found is that if you reduce the size of the thumbnails in the film strip, you'll reach a point where all that stuff will disappear even if you have it turned on. For example, I have them average size right now and let's just start reducing them down and you'll see pretty soon I'll get to a point where they just disappear. Right there, see they're all gone. So it took a while. It took a while and of course it depends on the resolution of your Mac uh, I'm, I'm, or of your computer, I should say, your computer monitor. I'm using a 5K Mac, so it, I had to get them pretty small uh, to get those to disappear. So if you find that you're missing your like uh, flag statuses, uh, star ratings, or color labels, uh, just increase the size of your film strip and they should reappear. Assuming, of course, you have them turned on in that view options I showed at the very beginning. Now, another thing that I get emails about that disappears is the filter options. Now, you can see right here, right above the film strips, this little black bar, and we have filter options. So I could click in and just have the images, for instance, that I have a white flag on. So I could go through and filter the images in the film strip. At times, people email me and say that all these options are gone. Well, what happened is they probably accidentally clicked on the word filter. If I click on it, you'll see that will all collapse away and all those filter options disappeared. So if you want them to reappear, just click on filter again and you'll see they're back. Now, another thing that often disappears is this bar that is directly above that black bar. This is called the toolbar. And you could make that appear and disappear by hitting the T on the T key on your keyboard, T for toolbar. And I'll click on the T and you can see it's gone and it appears. So if that disappears, just hit the T key on your keyboard. Now, the items that are on the toolbar, I often get emails from people saying that my toolbar doesn't have this and yours does. Well, over here on the far right, you'll see there's a little triangle. If you click on that, you'll see there's a number of items that you could add to or remove from the toolbar. I have sorting on there. If I click on that and remove the check mark, you'll see that sorting is gone. If I click there again, I could click on sorting and add it back. So you could add and remove all these items from the toolbar as you see fit. Now, these change, the items on the toolbar change depending on what module you're in, meaning the library module will have different choices than the develop module and so on. So it is module dependent on what appears in the toolbar. All right, another thing that often disappears and people don't understand why or how to get it back is this information that is in the top left-hand corner of the image itself. 
uh, hit the I key on your keyboard, I for information, and it will toggle between three different modes. One mode is off. You won't see it at all. Hit it again and you'll get, uh, by default, the date, time, and the resolution of the image. Hit the I key again and you'll get the um, equipment and exposure. So 1 250th of a second F8 ISO 400. It was a 24 millimeter lens, uh, uh, 2.8 DGDN art 19 uh, lens, which is a Sigma lens. So that is how you get that information back. Now, if you go to grid view, when you're in the library module, you could sort here too. There's a sort bar that is usually at the top, but sometimes that disappears. To get that back, you could see I'm missing mine. Hit the forward slash key on your keyboard and you could see then that sort bar is there and I'll be able to sort or search by text, uh, by attribute, meta, data, and so on. They call this the library filter bar. I should probably be more exact of what that's called. So if you're missing that, hit that forward slash key. You could uh, get rid of it or have it there by just hitting that forward slash key. And finally, we're gonna jump over to the develop module. Uh, first, we'll go back and look at a single image. And I'm gonna go over to the develop module. And often, this is a real common email I get. Uh, people email me and say that I have red blotches on my screen or blue blotches on my screen like I do here. These are the clipping indicators. Now, when you're in the develop module, if you go over to the histogram, you can see that in the top left-hand corner, there's a triangle. In the top right-hand corner, there's a triangle. And they look active, right? They're real bright. That means they're on. I have the clipping indicators on. And you could simply click on them. The one on the left is for the shadows. And when you're clipping the shadows, you'll get blue on the screen. And if I just click on that little triangle, you can see I removed the clipping indicator. So that blue disappears. And likewise, uh, the one on the far right is for the highlights. And if I click on that, I'll get rid of the red in the highlights. Now, how these accidentally get turned on, I believe, is not by someone clicking on the triangles accidentally. What happens is people accidentally hit the J key on their keyboard. If you hit the J key on your keyboard, you'll turn them on. Hit the J key again and you'll turn them off. Now, typically, you use the clipping indicators because you most often don't want to clip, especially highlights. If you're clipping highlights, that means there's no detail in those highlights. And if you print it on paper, there won't be any ink put down in that spot. So typically you don't want to do that. So what you would do is you would come in and usually with the whites, you'd bring it down to all that red disappears. Similarly for the shadows, if you're clipping the shadows, uh, many of us call it crushing the shadows. Uh, what happens is uh, there's no detail there. It's absolute black. And if you print it, just black ink is going to be put down there. No detail. A lot of people don't want to clip shadows at all. And if you don't, then you just take the blacks slider and you back it off until all that blue disappears. Then you have to remember, right? You have to remember to hit that J key again to turn them off. I still have a little bit over here, so you could go to the shadows over here and try to open it up. But personally, I like to clip the shadows a little bit. I think it just adds a little more tonal depth to my image. Then once I'm done, hit the J key again to turn off those clipping indicators. So that's this real short video explaining and talking about things that often disappear in Lightroom and how to get them back. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.